Well, I'm just crawling around in some boulders today, and uh, I just found this really cool boulder that looks like it has crystals all up in it. And it actually does. I found some little teeny tiny ones. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's a pretty nice one, but it's kind of tiny. All test and habit. And uh, you can see right there, there's a bit of chalcedony in this pegmatite, so that's kind of interesting. And there's some feldspar crystals on this side, kind of poking out. So yeah, I think I'm going to pick at this for a while and see what I can find. Should be pretty interesting. And there should be some more boulders around that are kind of similar, so... Yeah, we'll see what we can find today. That's a pretty cool one. You can see some little crystals on there. A little crystal face on here but didn't look like it fully terminated but yeah very cool Well, I found a pretty nice cluster in this one, right there, and I got some nice loose ones, along with uh, some chalcedony and whatever. So, 
Yeah, it's pretty good for one boulder. That's about all I could get out of it this time. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to move on to another one, see what I can find. Hopefully there's another one with a decent pocket in it. But, yeah, this one up above here even looks like it has some pockety sections. Nothing too crazy. It doesn't have any whole crystals, but you can see it's slightly more crystallized and it has this orange material that I always find in the pockets around here, so yeah, pretty interesting. This one looks like it was trying to pocket out. There's some pretty decent sized biotite mica crystals and some uh, feldspars in there with a little bit of space big enough for the biotite to grow but not big enough for any other crystals. But yeah, there's some huge biotite down here. You can see the size of that one. Yeah. So, there's got to be some decent quartz crystals around here. Well, this one was definitely trying to pocket out. You can see some uh, fully formed feldspar crystal right there. And you can see the big biotite down here, so yeah, you just want to find the right zone in it to be able to find the crystals. Not everyone will have quartz crystals, but some of them will, so you just got to check every one. Look at the size of that garnet. Thing's massive, like bigger than a golf ball there not very well formed but there's some jimmy sections in there so yeah I'll probably try and break it out definitely a cool piece well it got a little bit broken up but there it is definitely a keeper some little jimmy bits that broke off and yeah Pretty cool. Nice big chunk of garnet. Well, this is what I was looking for. You can see there's a pocket right there. It's a decent sized pocket. And if you look inside this pocket, right there, you can see a nice big quartz crystal in there. It's a pretty nice one. It doesn't look like it's fully terminated though but I'll try and get it out. Oh, that's a little bit. Yeah, I'll need my screwdriver for that one. Well, that piece just popped off, so let's see if it's terminated at all. Should be on the sides, it looked like. Yeah, that's pretty nice. You can see a little crystal growing on the side of it but it doesn't look terminated on the ends it's just a crystal that got too big for the pocket still pretty cool though Looks like there's a feldspar crystal right there, kind of in between the two rocks, so hopefully I'll be able to chip that out and maybe it'll be a whole crystal, I don't know. Looks like it could be fractured on the other side, but can't really tell until I get it out.
looks like it's fully terminated except for on the back side but yeah it's got the top on it and it's got a few sides so yeah it's a pretty nice feldspar crystal I like that I've only really collected one other for my collection so this will be a great addition a little bit of biotite on there and quartz Well that's about it from this uh, boulder, even though it had some really nice pockets, it only yielded three crystals. But uh, yeah that one's pretty nice, it's got some nice sides to it but not terminated. There's a nice terminated uh, feldspar crystal, but the back doesn't really have terminations on it, just the front. And this one has a nice little quartz on it yeah, it's kind of yellow on top I wonder if that'll stay I doubt it though it's probably just an iron staining but still pretty cool so I'll move on to another boulder now well this is a kind of pegmatite that you want to look out for uh, you can see here there's a lot of muscovite mica, feldspars, quartz, some black tourmaline. Not a very nice one, but still black tourmaline. And there's almost always garnets in this kind of pegmatite too, like right there. But uh, yeah, in these kinds of pegmatites, oftentimes you'll find barrel like uh, aquamarine and that kind of stuff but uh, this one I'm not seeing anything it's not really something that you find around here but there is potential for it so yeah that's pretty interesting might try and chip off a couple samples off of this but yeah just something I don't see very often I was just chipping away at this uh, boulder here and trying to get these two garnets out. <laughs> they come out pretty nicely actually. And uh, I looked over and I thought that uh, that lichen looked kind of black there. But it's actually covering black tourmaline underneath there so I'm going to try and see if I could chip this uh, pegmatite and flake it off so I could get a nice big chunk out of it right here. Yeah, I just haven't found any black tourmaline in my area before so that's pretty cool. Nice big chunks of it in there. Or big for around here anyways. But yeah. Very cool. Well, there's a little piece of black tourmaline, kind of fractured. It's not really whole crystals or anything, it's just kind of mangled in there, but yeah, that's pretty cool. And uh, I broke this piece off. It has some kind of in the edge there, that black stuff there. Yeah, as I said, it's not really whole crystals but still pretty cool there's a bit right there see a bit of shine 
and there's muscovite mica all through it and yeah pretty cool not really any that many garnets or anything but that's the kind of stuff I'm looking for This is one of the holes that I dug a while back and I found a pegmatite with some really nice clear quartz in it. So uh, I thought I'd come back to it and see if I could find any more cuttable pieces. Like uh, this one right here, it looks pretty glassy. And uh, yeah, just make some pretty cool cabs. and whatever for jewelry and stuff like that so yeah hopefully there's some pretty nice chunks left in here still that one looks pretty nice it's got some tiger striping going on in there kind of cool so yeah dig through here and see what I can find There's still a little bit of clear quartz back up in there that I could be chipping out, but I kind of lost my chisel earlier underneath uh, one of those big boulders I was chipping on, so it went way out of reach and I couldn't really get it back. But yeah, it looks like there could be a pocket up in there somewhere if I keep on chipping at that. And there's some clear quartz here, and uh, feldspar is kind of crystallized, so that's kind of pointing me towards that there could be a pocket back there so yeah pretty interesting but I think that's gonna be it for today I got a decent amount of clear quartz here just behind this tree 
decent little pile and I got a whole box at home so I don't really need too much. Uh, should be pretty interesting stuff to cab up. And yeah, so if you guys like the video, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.